what would it feel like to meet your dream girl? But she turns out to be a robot. Feels like a bad nightmare, right? Well, now imagine this statement to be true. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna see how robots are trying to take the position of humans and about a few female humanoid robots who look exactly like humans and why we need to be careful with them. Trust us, this is gonna be a very interesting video that you do not wanna miss out on. Sit back, relax, and watch it till the end. Before we go any further, we know you are all bored of sitting at the same place, so here's a fun game for you all to complete. To do so, simply move your right hand thumb to the left, right, up and then down to the like button. So what are you waiting for? Enjoy this video by pressing the like button. And now, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Technology has progressed so much in recent years that we wouldn't be surprised if robots were to live with us in the future. And these robots are primarily designed to assist humans in simplifying tasks that humans find difficult or boring. These robots have proven a lifesaver for them. However, they can also create a problem for humans as they are on the edge of replacing human workers and they are expected to be replaced by 2030. Can we, on the other hand, put our faith in technology completely? Is it safe for us to trust them? What are your thoughts on this? Let us know what you think by posting a comment in the comment section down below. And before learning more about these humanoid robots, we'll look at what the term humanoid robot actually means and who's responsible for their creation. So, humanoid robots, as the name implies, are robots that behave and look like humans, and thus are humanoids. They can even match human facial expressions and may be able to catch feelings. Keep watching until the end to find out if they can detect feelings or not. If we talk about the applications of these robots, then we can see that robots are most likely the huge win of the whole decade. According to estimates, they will be able to handle 25% of all labor jobs by 2025. These robots' improvements and performance are likewise at an all-time high. There are numerous reasons for this, including cost savings and improved performance. Several countries, including the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, and Canada, are among the most aggressive adopters of robots. Humanoid robot applications are at their peak in areas such as electronic devices, computers, manufacturing, automotive parts, and electrical appliances. With the implementation in 2025, over 75% of humanoid robots will be ready. Talking about why only the female humanoid robots are being attracted more is because women are more objectified in AI than males. Not just because they are viewed as the ideal helper, but because people attribute greater humanity to women than men. While female robots are gifted with more positive human attributes, they are also seen as more human and more ready to consider our particular needs in a service environment. This could explain why women prefer female robots to their male counterparts. Female intelligent machines are probably preferred by people because they are more closely identified with humans. Now, we're glad at a few female robots created by diverse persons that resemble humans. On number 10, we have Ariza Anime Robot Receptionist. Arise is the name of the six-foot-tall robot positioned at the Odo Line's Unio Akachi Machi Station. Arise, right out of an animated comic, provides directions, restroom locations, and information about the local environment. The robot also has an interactive screen on which riders can obtain further information. Arise will provide guests with information about nearby attractions, as well as good subway etiquette. Four languages are spoken by the humanoid robot, Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese. If you ask gently, Arisia will even pose for photos. THK and Aru's Gaming partnered to create the robot, which has previously worked as a receptionist and a casino presenter. On number nine, we have Actroid Acting Robo. Osaka University created a humanoid robot with a strong similarity to humans. The Actroid is a Sanrio-made android created by Kokoroa Company LTD, the company's animatronics division. In 2003, the Actroid was initially shown at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Following the exhibition, several different variants of this robot were created and released. The Actroid has the appearance of a small Japanese child. The Actroid robot can imitate sounds and other basic human activities such as twitching, speaking, and even breathing in its chest. On number 8, we have Geminoid F. Geminoid F is a 20-something Japanese woman who has been cloned by an android. It's made to be controlled remotely and can replicate the operator's behavior by smiling, frowning, and changing facial expressions. ATR and Kokoroa Company LTDs created Geminoid F. On number seven, we have Shilu. Shilu is the world's first human robot created entirely of waste materials. 
is primarily used for housework, and she is well-versed in social and educational matters. She also can communicate in 47 languages, including nine Indian languages and 38 others. Dinesh Kunwar Patel, a computer science teacher in Mumbai, created Shalu. He works as a teacher. Dinesh grew up in the Uttar Pradesh village of Ramajabho. It is nearly identical to the Sophia robot. However, it is capable of doing more labor. The Shalu robot is being used to teach the sixth grade students at the school. Shalu also communicated the government's words about maintaining a safe distance and wearing a mask for safety during the COVID-19 days. On number six, we have Nadine. Nadine, on the other hand, has something which sets her apart from the rest of the artificial population. Nadine has a personality. According to her designers, Nadine was developed to have moods and feelings. According to researchers at Nanyang Technology University in Singapore, depending on the dialogue, the robot was designed to be happy or sad. That implies Nadine was designed to detect and respond to specific words and phrases. According to a news release from NTU, Nadine was made to be a doppelganger, a foul man with a smooth complexion and flowing brunette hair. She greets you with a grin, looks you in the eyes when speaking, and can also shake your hand. On number five, we have Saya, the school teacher. Horishio Kobayashi, a science professor at the University of Tokyo, developed Saya, the Japanese teacher robot, after 15 years of research. She was designed to take the role of a receptionist, but she is presently being tested in a Japanese primary school. Behind a latex face, the humanoid features 18 different motors that are designed to mimic regular expressions. Saya's current abilities are limited to taking the register, becoming enraged, and shouting, be silent. She also has a long way to go to catch up to the achievements of the Japanese humanoids, the renowned Ezimo robot from the Honda commercials, which can do exercises, run, and even climb stairs. On number four, we have Jia Jia. Jia Jia, the humanoid robot, can recognize other people's facial expressions and reply with micro expressions. She can even tell what gender the person that is communicating with her is. Her internet fans refer to her as the robot goddess. She can communicate in Mandarin, Chinese, and English. The humanoid can converse in time with its lip movement and has natural eye movement. She can also give correct weather answers and carry on basic conversations. The life-size robot features a gorgeous woman's face and was created by five students from China's University of Science and Technology in Hefei. The humanoid is capable of independent navigation and can recognize the human-machine interaction. It also possesses basic arm and leg motions, as well as the ability to tilt its head and bow. On number three, we have Erica. Erica is a high-tech android that was created as a study of research for studying human-robot interaction speaks in natural language, has a human-like voice, and can make a range of facial expressions. Erica the Robot was designed by Hiroshi Ishiguro, director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. On number two, we have Sophia. Sophia is a lifelike humanoid robot that can communicate with humans and display human-like expressions. It's intended for use in research, teaching, and entertainment, as well as to encourage public debate on AI ethics in the direction of robotics. Sophia the Robot is a popular artificial intelligent AI robot on the market today. She is a pivotal person in the development of artificial intelligence and humans, and her presence has caused many to speculate about where things will go from here. And lastly, on number one, we have Ameka. At the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2022, the Ameka robot was one of the most talked about gadgets. This lifelike gray face robot can talk with you and has human-like facial motions, Ameka is the world's most advanced human-shaped robot, produced by a UK-based business named Engineered Arts. The humanoid bot can answer your questions and pose them to you, such as, are you amazed by me? So these were the few female robots who are ready to take over many jobs of the humans. And that is why we need to be careful about them. That's it for today's video. Hope you liked and enjoyed this video. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, click the bell button, and also do not forget to share it with your friends and family. Do check out our previous videos to get information on more such interesting topics. Stay safe and stay healthy.